good morning students welcome to our english class hope you are fine and safe with your parents stay home stay safe today you are going to learn unit 3 poem on killing a tree written by g patel warm up questions children what is a tree do you like trees yes fine what are the uses of trees we will discuss now a tree is a tall plant with woody tissues tree takes in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen which is necessary and important for life trees are home to different birds and insects trees provide shade and keeps the temperature cool trees give us flowers fruits and vegetables trees give us medicine which which can cure when we are sick Trees have a big role in bringing rain. Without trees, the climate would be drier and hotter. Let's move on to the author G. Patel. G. Patel was born on 18th August 1940. He is an Indian poet, playwright, painter, as well as practicing physician, doctor, based in Mumbai. Patel belongs to a group of writers. who have subscribed themselves to the green movement which is involved in an effort to protect the environment his poem speaks of deep concerns for nature and expose man's cruelty to it next we see about hard words given in the poem first one jab to pour or press abruptly with a short quick blow crest the brown hard outer portion or surface leprous covered with scales hide the strong thick outer skin miniature very small i will read out the poem listen carefully and then I will give explanation of poem and poetic device. On killing a tree, written by G. Patel. See the poem. It takes much time to kill a tree. Not a simple jab of the knife will do it. It has grown slowly, consuming the earth, rising out of it, feeding upon its crust. observing years of sunlight air water and out of its leprous hide sprouting leaves so hack and chop but this alone won't do it not so much pain will do it the bleeding bark will heal and from close to the ground will rise curled green twigs miniature boughs which if unchecked will expand again to form a size no the root is to be pulled out out of the anchoring earth it is to be roped tied and pulled out snapped out or pulled out entirely out from the earth earth came and the stem of the tree exposed the source white and wet the most sensitive hidden for years inside the earth then the matter of scorching and choking in sun and air browning hardening twisting withering and then it is done let us understand the title first before going into the poem explanation on killing a tree as the title itself says the poem is about cutting a tree the poet is sensitive tree saw living beings and we should not hurt them and harm them 
as very useful to us. So, let's get back to the poem. I am going to give explanation of the poem first stanza. The poet tells us that killing a tree is not easy. It is time consuming. A tree grows straight out of the earth and nourishes itself on the nutrients found in the earth. Besides, taking years of sunlight, water and air. Although it bob irregular and scaly leaves and branches sprout of it. Second stanza. The poet says that the half of a knife or chopping of a bough is not sufficient to bring a tree down. This chap may inflict pain is not enough to kill it. The bleeding bog will heal with time. New green twigs will grow again and boughs chopped off will be replaced by new boughs. It will grow into the former size. Third stanza. To kill a tree, one has to attack the roots of the tree by pulling it out of the earth. That is, the source of its existence has to be destroyed by taking it out of its place of security and stability. The root should be tied with a rope and pulled out entirely from its safe place below the earth or it should be snapped out of there. The root which is the source of strength for the tree and also the most sensitive part as it is hidden inside the earth for years must be exposed. Fourth stanza. After the roots have been exposed, it is only a matter of getting burnt in the sun and choking in the, in the air. Here, the burning or scorching may refer to the discoloring of the root and choking may refer to drying up. It goes through browning, hardening, twisting, withering and then it is finally killed. Now, see the poetic device from the poem, alliteration, is a repetition of sounds at close intervals. It is used to lend a lyrical or musical element to the poem. See the poem line, the bleeding bob will heal. Here the poet has repeated B and B sounds, the starting letter. Metaphor is a comparison between two unlike objects, but the word of comparison like or as is not used. Instead of stating that one thing is like another, the poet identifies one with the other. The bleeding bog is a metaphor. The poet compares the sap oozing out of the bog of a hat trunk to the blood of a human being. Personification. A non-human inanimate object, idea or animal is given human characteristics. See the poem line. The bleeding bog, the wounded bog is represented as bleeding. The poet portrays the tree as a human being throughout the poem. Repetition. Is using a word phrase or class a number of times with the purpose of emphasis or to provide unity to the poem. See the poem line. The root is to be pulled out, out of the anchoring earth. It is to be roped, tied and pulled out, snapped out or pulled out entirely. Here the poet uses pulled out and out again and again to emphasize the effort involved in uprooting a tree and exposing its, its roots. Imagery. Imagery means to use figurative language to represent objects, actions and ideas in such a way that it appears to our physical senses. See the poem line. Slowly consuming the earth, 
rising out of it, feeding upon its crest. Here, very strong imagery has been used and it shows the growth of the tree by taking nutrients from the earth.